Welcome back, everybody, to another Ask a Fence Girl Fry. Yay. That's right. Snow edition. So, yeah. Snow and ice edition. Snowpocalypse. Edition. Which actually, I guess, technically last week was snow edition as well. Yeah. That's I think true. It, it snowed then as well. Yeah. No, yeah. But not, not this much. Good grief, people. Yeah. Uh, listen, whoever asked for snow, let's not do that again. Yeah. Let's learn from our mistakes yep. and not do that again or be more specific. Right. Don't just say, boy, I'd really like for it to snow to say, boy, I'd really like for like one half to three quarters of an inch of mm -hmm. snow. I sure like a light dusting of snow. And then for it to be gone the next day. Right. I love watching it snow. I don't want the snow to stick. Yeah, sure would go. love, uh, yeah, sure would love to watch it snow, but yes. I have nothing to get. That's right. So whoever yeah. did that, yep. I mean, we're not going to call you out. I think we know who it is, we but, but we're not going to, we're not going to call you out, but just remember next time, be more specific. Yep. Do we call them out next time? I think we should. If it happens okay. again, fool All me right. once. That's right. Shame on you. A as a parent, you know? I'm I'm familiar with tough love. Yes. So this is the warning. Yeah. Okay. No, this is the warning. Yeah. There's nobody's in trouble. No one's in trouble. You know the rules now. But yeah. do it again. And you're getting called out. We're we're, getting, we're calling you out live. You know what? And we might even unsubscribe you. I think you can do that. Can we do that? I do that to TJ all the time. I'll say something like unsubscribe. I'm done with this conversation. I, said, I feel know. like it's a nice and professional know. way to say like, don't but, waste your time talking. Anymore. But now wait, you if know? we unsubscribe them, do they ask for more? So that's a good point. Maybe we just, so we need to have we levels. We need to have we levels. Don't, we don't unfriend. We unfollow. So if, if it happens again, yeah, we're calling it out. Yeah. We're calling you out, but we're not going to do anything. Right. If it happens a second time, unfollow publicly we will let people know <laughs> and then third yeah. time you're unsubscribed yeah and we'll probably bring it up every show and just for those that are just now tuning in this is for whoever sent the weather down in missouri yeah yeah whoever yeah. asked for snow like this that's who we're talking about yeah don't do it again next time be more specific yes that's all we're saying yep I we know who you are from this we know it's who you are learning that, opportunity that's right that's what I no like harm no foul yeah. the first time mm -hmm. fool me once sort yep. of thing yep but, but not again Hope you guys are doing super well. Welcome back. <laughs> this could be the last Ask a Girt Fence Gal Friday from this studio. That's true. Fingers oh, crossed. Exciting. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So here's the plan. Next week, no Ask a Fence Girl. Yep. Ask a Fence Gal. I keep trying to say girl. And it's Ask a Fence Gal. I mean, <laughs> yeah. learn to Little read, Joe. I mean, on. it yeah. literally says right there, <laughs> Ask a Fence Gal Friday. Anyway, um, next week, Lawn and Garden Show. Yes. So you will be Ooh. manning the Ozark fence booth at the yes. lawn and garden show. I'm excited. So they could, they could literally come up and ask the fence gal in Any person. Question. Yeah. Yeah. There's something it's to think like about. It's almost like a meet and greet. It could, be, it could be a meet yeah. and greet. Don't, yeah. don't mingle too long though. If you see people actually wanting to talk about fence. Well, that's true. So but like. I will be doing autographs. I will be doing wait, autographs. I'm not going to be there though. So, I mean. Then, I, I'm actually going to be in Nashville giving a talk, actually giving two talks uh, to some no. fence guys and some stain guys. You can give autographs so, there. I like it. I'll talk, I don't I'll talk know. to Caleb about the, it. The, so what we're saying is that it would be an unofficial meetup, Ask a Fence Guy, because oh, you yeah. can't be official unless both of us are there. It's like, yeah, it's like an exclusive behind the scenes. I like it. There you go. You're, yeah. You heard it here Backstage first, guys. Here. Yeah. And we're not going to mention it like on, on the Facebook page or anything. No. You can only know about it it's if you watch. So right now, only eight people will <laughs> know about to this. The eight of you that are watching. Well, or right or the people that watch it on replay. Yeah, so true. could be more. Could don't be. share it. Don't share that information. We don't want a mob scene. You know what I mean? Or you could share it. Well, Joe's I mean, you, up for a mob you, scene. You could, yeah, because I'm not going to be there. I'm not up for a mob scene at the Ozark Empire Fair. I'm not going to be there. So I say bring it on. <sighs> I mean, it would make Friday go by a little quicker. That's right. Well, and here's the thing. In all honesty, I think it might be really crazy. I'm I'm kind of. You think so? Yeah, I, I'm kind of disappointed I won't be able to be there. I mean, I think so I'm too. doing we're do, I'm doing good stuff elsewhere, so it's, you know it's for a good cause and all that. Right. But I think it's going to be pretty crazy huh. because I mean, think about it. It's going to be one of the first large scale events held, yeah, post pandemic. If we're That's saying true. this is post pandemic, yeah. um, you know, so I I really think it has the opportunity of being being pretty crazy. Yeah, so. Like uh, we're going to have to learn how to hold a show, you know, with in this new age we live in, yep. face masks and distancing and all that. Yep. So that could be interesting. 
Um, but yeah. I so. know, cool. Be a good learning curve. That's right. We got a few people to say hello to. All right. What is up, hello. Fence Prince? Dylan, how are you? So what's funny, Dylan? <laughs> Sarah and I had a bit of a, a bit of confusion this morning. Uh so yesterday, this one wasn't at work. Well, no working from home i wasn't anyway not at work and we had um dan hardy from hardy fence they're out and i want to say outside wichita which is the closest large uh, town near them large city near them anyway they're from kansas uh dan came down visit do a little shop tour and also talk fence for a little while and he brought his guy his main guy dylan down so we had dan and dylan and I was, and I was talking to, to Dan Hardy again this morning and said, hey, you know, uh, I'm glad you and Dylan should come down again and all that. And Sarah says, Dan and Dylan, they're in Louisiana. They're oh. they're coming up. I yeah. said, what? No, they're in Kansas. They can't from Kansas. She goes, are you talking about Fence King and Fence Prince, Dan and Dylan? I'm like, oh, I didn't even put this no. together. <laughs> I'm talking about Hardy Fence, Dan and Dylan. So Yeah. I, I was a little anyway. concerned. Yeah. I was a little concerned there. For but. Your- geography but we're good but we straightened it out we straightened it out so welcome fence prince glad you're here absolutely actually fence prince is going to be in nashville next week too that's right here i'm so jealous fence king and fence prince we're gonna meet him in person we're gonna do some education for uh, sean king he's got a mr fence academy yeah basically he helps um smaller newer fence companies i don't want to say smaller newer some of them are pretty good size he just helps fence companies be more efficient and all that yep and so we're going to talk to his group on wednesday and then i'm going over to caleb roth he's got stainless steel university uh and fence installation school or fence installation academy i'm not sure i think it's anyway they've got that thursday and friday so wednesday i speak to sean's group and thursday i speak to caleb's group just talking about marketing and doing video and how effective this is very cool. So, I like it. I am sad that I'm missing the show. I really do like these home shows. They're cool. They're fun. All right. Well, All right. Dennis, how are you? Yeah. He it, says it was Kenny Dugan. He asked for the snow. Well, you know what? Speaking of people that are going to be in Nashville next week, yeah. Kenny's teaching at the State University. Well, you so, need to get to the bottom of this. Wait, we said we weren't going to call anybody out. Well, if it if it was him. Well, but Walt did it. So, yeah. Kenny, we weren't we weren't yeah. gonna bring it up. Right. We knew it was you, but we weren't gonna say it. But, yeah. then, but then Walt here decided he was just gonna let the cat out of the bag. Well, so we said we would. We give him a first warning. This is their warning. Call this is out. the warning. This is the warning. Kenny, if, if it was you, you're called out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we know who it was, but right. we're we're just saying if yeah, it was you. Should it be you? Yeah, yeah. Right. We right. would that's call right. you out right now. That's right. And and Walt, if you had anything to do with that, because I know Walt and Kenny know each other, so if you had anything to do with it. Just consider this your warning as well. Yeah, it's just like a smelt it, dealt it situation. Is this a conspiracy? You know what I heard on a podcast the other day that I loved a lot? Every time you point a finger, you've got three more pointing back at you. Like that's the way the yeah that's the way the yeah. finger works because I'm pointing at Sarah, but one, two, actually there's two fingers. Well, but the thumb's not a finger. Is it depends how okay, okay. Or maybe you're doing three pointing back at you, Walt. I like that. It's kind of like one of those glass houses. That's right. Don't throw stones in a glass house. That's right. And don't wear the shoe on the other foot in the house. Definitely no shoes don't. in the house. No, no shoes in the house. Especially on the other feet. Big, uh, yeah. Big talk show here. All right. Or negative temp. That's what is it. up, Taylor? Hi, Taylor. Hello. And you know what? If Taylor's watching, you know who else is watching? Action Jackson. Maybe. He's not watching George of the Jungle. You no, know, that's true. That's true. He yeah. is. We have been on a big George of the Jungle <laughs> kick at our house lately. Yeah. Uh, one and two, the oh, live action George of the Jungle. I He's not big on the uh, on the on the cartoon version, on okay. the animated version. Yeah, live action. He's a big fan big of. Fan. Okay. So, and he can watch him like hundred times a day. Doesn't matter. I've he seen him it. do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I like it. Yeah. My. Uh, yeah. We don't need negative temps either. I absolutely agree with that. So my FaceTime was cut short because that's what he wanted. To he do. was ready to do yeah. George of the Jungle. He was George of the Jungle in it. Well, I was just chopped liver. Welcome, Welcome to my world. Welcome, Welcome to my world. <laughs> All right. What is up, Candace? Hi, Candace. Candace says, I totally said I wish we had. No, when I was a kid. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, well, I had to catch myself because I about. Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal. Not nearly as much as fun as I remember. Fair. Yeah. I learned my lesson. But when okay. we were younger, I do remember, and I know everyone says this, but 
Like we, you had to have physical snow on the ground for school ever to be called. Right? Yeah, that's true. Here, that's, that's not necessarily true. They think it's gonna, which I understand. It's fine, but yep. I mean, I feel like she's admitting that she asked for this. Well, but she said, "I totally said I wish we had snow." Like when oh. I did. Yeah, Candace, you're called out. This is your first warning. So I mean, we knew that we knew this, but. Now it's coming it's out, out to there. everybody it's that there have been multiple people. We have to acknowledge it. Wow. Well, That's all I can say, Candace. Wow. Well, well, Candace, I think I think there's going to be a team meeting uh, when we get back about <laughs> this. Uh, I mean, you're still the retail rock star. Don't get me wrong, but right. there will be a talking to yeah. about the snow business. Yeah, maybe a, a fist or two shaken. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get to go that far, but uh, oh, yeah. We went there. Okay, yeah. it's just getting a little crazy. <laughs> All right. There you go. Perfect. Walt, my my autograph is yours, sir. So actually, Walt and I met first in person at the Nashville airport. Really? Last year, Saint Steel University. <laughs> I was uh, I was walking through the terminal, uh, and someone said something. He, he couldn't find out it was him, but somebody said um, something like, "Well, that's a lot of orange." Because of course, I was wearing all orange too. Shocking. And and like I thought I heard it, but then like it's one of those things. I was thinking about something, so I only heard part of the sentence. I was like, "Wait, did I hear?" No, probably not. And then he said, "I said that sure is a lot of orange." Okay, that's I heard that. Who's this guy? And then it was Walt. And that's there, awesome. it was, there it was Walt. So hey, that's some brand awareness right there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's awesome. And, and hey, guess what? If anybody's traveling on uh, Wednesday, bright and early Wednesday morning, uh, you will also see me decked out in orange. I like it. It's kind of my thing. I like it. I like it. Oh. And he knows our cat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I will add that to my list. I can't promise, but I will add that to my list. And because I've already got fence signs, um, I have a somewhat secret giveaway oh. that we're not going to talk about publicly. Sure. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see about throwing some hats in there as well. Yeah, you can even sign the hat, maybe. There you go. Still two birds, sign. one stone. You know what I should do? You know what I should do hmm. is get some headshots made. Oh. And then I'll just set up a table. Yeah. And sign just like glamour shots edition. And not tell anybody about it. I'll just <laughs> set it up in the back corner and just sit there. Yeah. Just, just sit there and twiddle my thumbs and yeah. Sign my, Only if sign you have like the rope, like the rope <laughs> like for the line. You yes. Know? Yep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And a security person. Yeah. One at a time, please. And there's nobody there's in line. No there. There's no one in line. He's like, file. everyone walking past is like, one at a time, please. Oh, okay. Uh, sir, one at a time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would like that. All right. All right. What is up, Jeff? Hi there. Hello, you two. Poxitani Phil is 30 minutes for me. He doesn't have many fans at this point in Pennsylvania, in the Pennsylvania winter. Yeah. It's all ground, all the groundhog's fault. I agree. Did we talk yeah. about that on this show? I uh, talked about this Poxitani Phil business. And I and I said there, and I'll say it again. I'll say it publicly. Okay, yeah. He and I are done. Wow. Buxatani Phil, who's that? Really? Who this new number? You're not gonna let him or new who, phone. That's how that's new, says. new, new it phone is. who this. <laughs> that one. That's that what one. I meant. <laughs> but I guess if you had a new number, it'd be the same thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's that's what I meant. But yeah, so me and Phil are over. You're not gonna let him redeem himself next year. I mean, this goes back to the does he retaliate? Does he just not even come out next year? And what does that mean? You know, it means immediate summer. Does it, or does it mean indefinite winter? I know. I'm just saying, maybe, maybe don't burn that bridge. All right, I've got some thinking to do. You can. I've got out. You don't have to go over the bridge. Just don't. For, for the next eleven months, mm -hmm. me and Phil done over it. I'm not yeah. even talking to him. Yeah. Now, if he were to redeem himself. Mm -hmm. We can have this conversation again. Would you call this like a probationary period? Yeah, okay. I think so. I think so. We'll see. Time. We'll see how you do next time around. Yeah. And yeah. if you, I don't think he redeems himself with one time though. Okay. okay. I think Pucks Tony Phil's got to got to make right on this a few times in a row before before or thing he can be truly before, forgiven before our our uh, our relations thaw. Oh. Okay. Right now, Phil did it to himself. Our relationship frozen frozen just like the weather he brought yeah so okay. is and, and as we're learning it doesn't thaw overnight Ooh, we're still sitting true. on snow and ice so yeah phil i know you're watching 
You don't comment, but I know you watch. I know you're out there. You're one of the 16 people right now. Uh, I'll just say it's not going to thaw. I mean, you can work on it. You should work on this, but uh, we're not letting it slide. Perfect. All right, we got a couple more. Big people. weather show. Hello, Steph. What's up, Steph? Welcome. Um, Love it. Love got, the format. Uh, hey, hey. Gotta talk about this hey, for a minute, though. Hey. Um, I believe we've talked about this before, uh, where you know the show, the hierarchy of the show goes, yeah. you know, seniority first. Oh. So uh, the proper um, greetings to us would be hi, Joe and Sarah. That's the that's the proper greeting, the well, proper the format of the greeting. Yeah. And seniority. I mean, I've been here longer. I've been on the earth longer, period. But that's true. I mean, that's I've a all a lot longer. Uh, well, easy on decades that. Longer. Easy on decades longer. Come on. Three quarters of a decade longer. Yeah. I'm not mathing today, but <laughs> I'm just saying. I think it just goes to like how quickly I say good morning to Steph. Maybe it's real yeah, quick. Maybe it's real quick. Oh, on Slack. Yeah, you are on it. So yeah, let me for. For those of you that aren't understanding the three-way private communication that's going on here, like <laughs> secret. So Steph is our first line of defense. She's our yeah. phone answering rock star. Yeah. So she mans the incoming phone calls. If you've called Ozark Fence, talk to Steph. pretty good chance to talk to Steph. Yeah. And she took real good care of you. Yeah. We know. We yeah. hear about it. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So so Steph, So we all communicate on Slack. So Stephanie's not on site at Ozark Fence. She's right. off site. But so we all communicate on this communication app yeah. called slack yeah. and uh yeah and so every morning steph says or stephanie oh, yeah. i don't oh yeah steph yeah it says steph here okay. Steph here, okay. and slack yeah it's fine right. i feel like we're we're good now we're, we're, steph we're oh status. steph now yeah, we're steph status. look at us yeah. all right uh but anyway so steph will check in on slack she'll be like good morning everybody and then like point zero three two seconds later mm -hmm. sarah good morning I'm just waiting. I just have my phone up and I'm just looking at it seven, all morning. At 728, she's waiting yeah. and just waiting yep. for that 730 because Steph is nothing if not punctual. Yeah. At 730, Absolutely. sometimes 729. Yeah. She'll get in early. Yep. And good morning. Morning. Yeah. Morning, everybody. Very and good. then immediately, Sarah, you know she has it pre tech You have it oh, pre-entered. Yeah. You're just yeah. waiting. Boom. Yep. Actually, I have sends. a rule set up that is automatically like. It's automatic. just automatic. Yeah. 30 oh. seconds later. Sometimes and now we know. <laughs> and now we know. All right. What is up, stainless steel experts? All of them. Um, All of them are saying, one. "Hey, Ozark peeps." See, this is good. They're getting we, smarter. They're they figured uh, out that that's how you just—it's an umbrella. You know, you're addressing. And you know, maybe it's just not not only us. They're addressing everyone. Oh, everyone in everyone, the Ozarks. Yeah, Ozark peeps. Yeah, or that's all a of, lot of folks in the Ozarks. I was going to say just our company, but. Well, then it would Absolutely. be Ozark be. Fence Peeps. Or is that only like the people in Ozark, Missouri? Oh. I'm not there, so I guess they're not. Maybe it's not us. It's not us. But any yeah. of you that are in Ozark. Yeah, whoever's in Ozark, uh, our, our good friends over at Saints Select, yeah. say hello to you. <laughs> All of them are saying hello to you. So I have to say, I've been really getting a kick out of whatever's happening on social media between Caleb and Ashley, it's almost like who can find the older picture of them. And I'm loving it. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Their profile pictures. Isn't that it hilarious? is so I saw a couple great. Of different ones. And I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. This yep. is cool. Yep. Yeah. Cause I think they celebrated an anniversary. Is that, I think that's maybe what I saw. That's my guess. Uh, that's yeah. my guess. Yeah. So it's yeah. been fun seeing all the different like hairstyles and yeah, yeah, yeah I like yeah, it. Yeah. I like it. All right. Hello. Hi Reba. Thank you for joining us. What is up, Reba? I'm glad you joined us, but she's probably new to the show. So she just doesn't doesn't know. And that's fine. That's fine. I'm glad you're here. Um, but in the future, what we ask for is when people say hello to us, that they address us in order of seniority. So it would be, hey, Joe and Sarah. I mean, granted, I, I don't know Reba. She doesn't know me. But right. like that's, that's the um, format of the greetings on the show. Joe's got a mouse in his pocket because we have not decided anything. <laughs> and we, more than anything, appreciate you tuning in. That's Reba. right. So thank you. And Welcome, hello. Reba. Welcome. Right. Ryan. Ryan Dalton has an Ozark fence, but not on one of those good looking hats. What? Well, Ryan, you come right down to our office. Yeah. Right now, if you're available. Well, not right now, because we're not in the office yeah. right now. The way this current situation is, which will be right. changing soon. We are off site at a leased office space, basically. Yeah. So we're not there right this second. But Candace's, yeah. our retail rock stars yeah. there. Um, and you walk in our office and yeah. you say, 
Joe told me to march in here and ask for a hat. Yeah. And you will be given a hat. I and promise. And also publicly shame her for asking for this snow. Yes. Anyone that sees Candace, you let her know. Shake a finger at her. Yeah. The snow is not acceptable. Yep. And we don't appreciate it. Anyone that sees her says yeah. that. So Ryan, and when you ask for a hat. Now, when you ask for a hat, all of our staff is well-trained. Yes. Anyone that says the magic words, could I please have a hat, mm -hmm. gets a hat. Yeah. That well, is the secret password. We do have, we have kind of a rule, though. Okay. I we're going to tell everybody the rule? someone comes in, well, kind of, Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So they say, can I have a hat? And I always say, it depends. Are you going to wear it? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Sure. I don't want any hat We're collectors not, yeah. coming in no. off the street. No, 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 no. Just uh -uh. putting ours on a dusty shelf somewhere. No. Like, oh no. Up in a up in a, in a display yeah, shelf. Yeah, one of those like glass. No. Not gonna happen. No. Only people that will appreciate the hat. Yep. And wear the hat. And we're not saying how often it needs to be worn. Yeah. We're not going to put requirements on it, but yeah. we just ask if the intention is there yeah. for it to be worn. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. it's pretty cool. It's actually a. Uh, you could be both a Cardinal fan. Yeah. You oh, yeah. We be... have a, we still have Cardinal hats. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't think we have any of the black and orange right now. Um, We, we have some of the pink and orange or pink and pink black. and black. That's or, right. Yeah, breast cancer we need, awareness. We need to see. We need to see yeah. about that because I found some in a box the other day, but oh. it but there's the last three in this particular box. Okay. It might be I'm out. Find, I think maybe there's there were some in the container too. I saw the yeah. other day randomly. Yeah, it's, we need to uh, we need to we sort need that out. Inventory. We need to sort that out because if so, we need to order them. Yeah. I know just the guy. I for sure know that we have the camo hats. I have seen a lot so of camo, and what it is is it, it? it's a Springfield Cardinal S, uh -huh. but it's got Ozark fence on one side or the other. Yeah. So and it's orange camo. Yeah. So it looks pretty nifty. And then I have been known to take pictures of people wearing our hats out in the wild. That's true. Yeah, so I found a bus driver uh, uh, for a bus driver for Springfield Public Schools at a Wendy's oh, cool. last year wearing a hat. And I said, excuse me, sir, I'd like to begin this by saying I'm with those hard fence company. And this shouldn't sound weird, but can I take a picture of you wearing that hat with me wearing that hat? Because <laughs> we were wearing the same camel hat. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm kind of find out. He's like, yeah, this is my whichever day it was, Wednesday or Thursday. Mm -hmm. I guess it's my Wednesday hat. I wear okay. this on Wednesday when I pick the kids up. I love that. Very cool. I said, if you oh. ever need a hat, you come. Right on over. Oh. All right. A couple more here. Okay. Candace is accepting responsibility okay. and commits to taking vacation and visiting Colorado next time. I'm missing the snow. Perfect. However, that may be a few years before I forget how miserable this snow has been. Okay. So, so she's learned from her mistake. Yep. And, and she's already has an action plan on how not to make it again. Yes. Bingo. Love it. This is what, Love this it. is what we're about. Yeah. It's well, not a it's not a mistake if you learn from it. That's right. That's the, that's our big motto. And I'm a huge fan of corrective action plans. That's, that's right. awesome. That's right. Okay. Love it. All right. Love it. Thank and you. Colorado is a nice place, and they can just keep the snow. Yeah. Just, just keep it there. Keep it over there. Over there. Or right. Canada, Canada can just keep it up there. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll come keep, visit when we when we need a dosage of snow. Yeah. Keep it out of our backyard. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Yep. Keep the snow. Send us pictures if you need to. Right. Like that way we can like. Or here's the thing. In, in today's day and age of technology, mm -hmm. take a live stream of it. Yeah. And that way we can just like put it on a TV yeah. and act like it's Good a window. Fair. And then, but then we don't have to freeze when we go outside and our pipes don't burst. Talk about pipes bursting for a second. We're in a, we're in a shared office space, right? One of the offices here, the pipe burst in their wall or something. Totally soaked. There's no yeah. water in the building now. Nothing. So... Their area rug is now pulled out in the but, hallway. But Candace, we aren't going to tell them it was you. We right. don't want to be sending bills or anything. We're not going to set. We're not going to tell them. But just know, your your you know your actions do have consequences. Right, right. So it's a ripple effect. Trent, Trent. Oh, Kenny Dugan's here. Bringing you yeah. fence plates. You can start a fence fam wall in your new studio. Absolutely, cool. Kenny. So I did this this morning. I went. I see. I did this. Scott, my my main production guy. Went into one of our uh, containers and brought out some Ozark fence signs. Cool. And they're the big ones. That's awesome. We got some big black and black and orange, black signs with orange lettering. Yeah. Ozark fence. I'm bringing them. So yeah. I got one for you, Kenny. I love that. So that's a good. That's a good. That's a good thought. Have a fence fam wall. I like that because we we've, we've kind of thrown around different ideas of walls. Like yeah, kind of what to do. You know, we thought about having like, you know, in the studio having. So it's in a corner. Is going to be our. Mm -hmm. um, like our stage set or whatever. 
And we're going to do a shelf on one side and a blank wall on the other that we could put, you know, stuff on. But I like fence fan wall. Yep. Kenny, I'm bringing you a sign. I love that yep. idea a lot. Um, in my office, I've I've decided what it's going to be called. Okay. Now. It's going to be called the wall of wags. And I want oh. any one of our customers that we've ever put a fence up that has, I'm going to say just a, a furry animal. It doesn't have to be a dog necessarily. For family. Yeah. For yeah, family in general. For family. Because you know what? Could be a hamster. Our our good customer, Matt, he only has cats. And so I said, that's you fine. know what? That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. We'll we're good with cats. Yeah, we like we cats. Like cats. Yeah. We had a cat so, when we were a kid. We did. We are yeah. kids. Yeah. yeah. Midnight. Good cat. Midnight. Great, Great cat. cat. Yeah. Great cat. Um, but yeah. So anytime I'm going to ask for a picture of the dog, if they would like, unless yeah. they're in like a witness protection program. Yeah. And just call it. And so instead of your wall of wag, which I do like that name, mm -hmm. what if you just call it? And so we're going to have a fence fam wall mm -hmm. and a fur fam wall. Oh, I like that. Fur fam wall. Okay. We are well, on to something here. Is anyone going to think like I'm a crazy dog lady or cat lady for having all these animals? Are we going to? Gonna yeah, that? that's what would do it. That's <laughs> you're right. You're totally right. That's what would that's do what, it. it would uh, it's not of any. It's not the thirty pounds of dog treats you have in the office. That wouldn't give it away at all. Yeah, it would definitely be the wall. You're yep, totally right. That's definitely what it would be. Um, okay. Steph says I'll take turns greeting <laughs> you both. Okay, All right. and we are on Steph status now. Yes. We've reached Steph. We've status. made it. <laughs> We've made it to step yep. status. I love it so much. Big news. Love it. All right. <laughs> oh, all, all right. right. Well, Rib, there you go. Yeah. All right. And I'm the yeah. I, I, I need to go home and see my wife later on tonight. Yeah. So I'm gonna say that it is acceptable. Yep. You yep. can just keep on doing that. Yeah. And then you can say hi to oh. her and then say hi to us. Because if I if I try mm -hmm. to correct that, yeah. Bumpy road Bumpy. when I get home. Right. That's what I'm saying. Now, Reba, correct me if I'm wrong, and I could be wrong. Usually are. Are you Logan's grandma? Have we? Oh, we I think we, we might have met before. Okay. I think so, okay. but I don't know. I haven't met a lot of Reba, so I don't know. But we're putting things together yeah, here. I think so. Come on in. I'll get you. A yeah, hat. that's Perfect. right. Candace has a hat for you. Yeah, I love it. Yep. Hat with your name on. She's it. got. A, she's got to wade through the closet right now. The closet is a bit cool. crazy. As we're anticipating the move, but uh, Soon we'll she's got a hat for you, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. And even if if you want a pink hat, you let her know. Yeah, we have pink hats. We have pink hats there. Yeah, we keep them for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We all wear yep. pink, and uh, yeah, well, there you go. Perfect. I love it. All right, we're all caught up on comments. Yes. Very That's good. Nice. This is awesome. Very good. We we spent half an hour saying hello to people. I love it. I like awesome. that a lot. Yeah. So so Sarah, what all have we got done this week? Oh yeah. Um, we've done a lot of things. Yes. Um, a lot of, we places. got, we, we got yeah. the lot plowed. Actually yeah. we didn't, our good friend, Rick Starkey yeah. plowed it for us, mm -hmm. but it, yep. that got done. Yeah. That got done this yeah. week. Yeah. We, uh, we actually, you haven't seen it yet, but we made Ooh. great progress on the YouTube studio. Oh, cool. Now three walls are all in. So we use a product called rewood. So right oh, now. Yeah. That's just fabric, right? It's just a fabric backdrop. So, but we actually found rewood, a product called rewood, which is recycled redwood fence pickets. Okay. So it it's it looks like barnwood, but it's redwood. Okay. So uh, they they sent us some for so mainly so I could do a video on the on uh -huh. our okay. YouTube page. Yeah. Um, but we also get to keep it. So yeah, I we've got that. got some nice redwood fence pickets on up uh, on on the walls, through the walls. So. Yeah. We did that. We got some desks built. You yeah. had some desks brought in, so we got sure. those built. Cool. Uh, what else did we do? The we floors get... were done. I haven't been there since yeah. the floors got done. Oh, that's right. So we so yeah. the front office. Oh, yeah, the front office is done. Yay. The floors are in. The walls are painted. All the trim's up. All at, The desk is built. The, so Candace's desk up front is built. Awesome. Um, yeah. It's got the Rewood product on it as well. Yeah, you'll have to come over after the, after we I get will. done with this. I certainly will. It, uh, it's ready that's to go. Awesome. So I'm so excited. So we're moving over March the 5th. Okay. So the thing with the move over is, so everything everything we do is web-based, right? Whether it's the online quote tool, whether which those come in through email, yep. and then, you know, whether it's our CRM, Job Nimbus, it's a web-based. Everything we do is web-based. 
Uh, so when we move the internet over, they got to shut the internet down at our current location yep. and then take all the equipment over to the new location, install the new equipment, and then bring internet back up there and do some testing and all that. Yeah. So now they, they are doing pre-wiring at the new location. They're doing that today. Okay. So, but we're still going to be down for a day. Well, and then it's going to be a mad dash because right now we have to keep all of, we have to keep our office open. Yeah. So in one day, we're going to shut our office down, pack it up, move it next door, unpack it, set up a new office. Yep. It's going to be a bit of a crazy day, <laughs> but actually we're planning on a Friday so that if, if it spills over into Saturday, we can, we can have the office open by Monday yep. is the idea. So yep. that's coming up, but we're, we're to the point. Everything's ready. So, awesome. and I, I don't mean to brag on myself and uh, give myself a little pat on the back. I did some cleaning. Yeah. I got so bored this week that I, I, I came in every day, but, uh, we did some cleaning, did some awesome. sweeping and some mopping. Perfect. Her office cleaned and mopped. Um, uh, to be fair, we also did my office and, <laughs> and my dad's office. We, we did everybody's, did but, okay. but yeah, so we did, we got a lot of bill. Didn't get a lot of fence done though. No. So let's talk about this. I do want to talk about I do want to talk about how the weather affects fence installation. Yeah. I mean, obviously, so our policy is if Springfield Public Schools cancel school, we don't put our trucks and trailers on the road. Right. If it's weather, if it's canceled for weather. Sure. The thought being if the school district who has driven the roads, who has met, you know, or talked with meteorologists from the National Weather Service. If they don't feel comfortable putting a bus and kids up on the road, out on the road, I don't feel comfortable putting a truck trailer equipment with those kids' parents out on the road. Right. I mean, that's just, it makes right. sense to me. Absolutely. Um, so we haven't been installing much fence. Now we do, we do let everybody come in. If they feel safe coming in, sure. you know, you know, need to make hours and that sort of stuff. I absolutely understand. Yeah. Um, so lots of cleaning goes on, lots of building goes on, desk building and chair building, that sort yeah. of thing. But, uh, but we don't build much fence. Don't build any fence when they call school. But we also, here's, here's what I want to talk about though. So it's supposed to warm up over the weekend. Snow's supposed to melt, maybe chance of rain Sunday, which will absolutely melt everything away. Yeah. And Monday's supposed to be forties, forties and fifties all next week. Yep. We won't be building much fence next week either, because the thing we need to remember and think about is all this snow and ice has to go somewhere. It yeah. gets melted and goes straight down in the ground. Makes sense. Right. Yeah. Problem is it turns yards into muddy messes, yep. turns them into swamps. And the last thing I want to do is mess up somebody's yard by trying to build a fence to enhance the beauty of their yard. It seems like a, a, <laughs> a defeating purpose. Right. So, right. you know, and, and I say that now because I know the phone calls are coming. Oh, yeah. I know that Monday morning, sun's out, birds are chirping. Yeah. Birds probably aren't chirping, but you get what I mean. Uh, and the phone calls will start. Hey, um, snow's gone. Are when when will you guys be out today to start my fence? Yep. And we'll have to tell them. Well, we're not actually installing fences this week because we value your yard. You know, we want to make sure that we leave your yard in better shape than where we found it. Yeah. Okay. You know, and guys, I've seen it. So and so, the next thought is, well, just don't bring equipment on the yard. Just, just hand dig it. Yeah, just hand dig it. The problem is, I've seen guys. We've repaired sod where our guys have have walked a rut into the yard. By using, you know, going through the same gate and entrance by using the same path, uh, they've walked right into the yard, and then we end up replacing that sod. Yep. So it's a whole fool me once thing. Like learn yeah. from learn from your mistakes so that they're not mistakes. Right. Um, we we've done enough of this to know we won't be building fence next week. Now I, I say that. Let me put an asterisk in there. We do have a couple projects that we had already started pre weather. You know, so Monday last Monday. Uh, we got about half a day worth of work in for the ice started and we recalled the trucks and we sent everybody home. So we have, we have a few projects to finish. So sure. if you're watching this and we started your project last Monday, okay. we're coming out we're to finish it, it. Yep. Uh, but we're not starting any new projects until the ground dries up and gets firm. Yeah. So realistically, we're still another week to week and a half from opening up production. And that's if we don't get rain and if we don't, you know, yeah. here's the thing guys, absolutely understand. No one wants to build fence more than we do. Right. I mean, that's that's what makes our business run. So we are absolutely ready to build fence as soon as we can, but we want to make sure we don't do more damage, do more harm than good right. by absolutely. installing this fence. Yeah. So I know I know these calls are coming. I've answered these calls many, many years. And so I wanted to try to head this off at the pass, yeah. just knowing that 
these calls are coming. So everyone is on a list. So the way we do our scheduling, Sarah, is we schedule them all first come, first serve. Correct. Is that right? So now how do we do that? What is it? How do we order them? So uh, as soon as the customer, kind of talk a little bit about a process, as soon as the customer accepts, we send them the deposit invoice and contract. So when I say first come, first serve, it's whoever gets me those items back first. Um, so, you know, if we have two consultations on the same day, they both accept, they're likely both getting in the same week. Sure. Um, but what happens is sometimes you'll have a consult and maybe they need to talk to an HOA or they need to talk to, you know, the city, that sort of thing, or maybe neighbors. Yep. And they can't really decide which package they want to go with. There, there's a possibility that someone that I have a consult with a week later gets a spot before them because they get those contracts and deposit and voice back sooner. Yeah. So while right. we always, you know, we love the go ahead, um, we know that life happens and sure. things happen. Yep. And so that's kind of the signal to us like, nope, we are, we're serious. We're ready to go. Let's do this. That's right. And so, so in the file, we actually make a note of that. Yeah, we we enter the date that we have both the contract and deposit yep. so that as we're creating the schedule, we just, it simply goes by the date that's in the file. Yep. And, and so that when weather does get delayed, we know exactly who's next in line. Exactly. So exactly. things, things get rearranged right back in order. They just get delayed. You know, at this point, we'll, there'll be a delayed three weeks. You know, we've had yeah. a couple of weeks of weather. We'll have a week of drying and then we should be back to normal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, everyone's kind of first come first serve. And so they'll be installed in the order in which they were received. They received. Yep. Yep. Sure. And so far, I mean, everyone gets it, you know, and yeah. of course we always I, reach out to our customers and let them know. That's right. That's right. Um, and, and I'm probably making, you know, making a mountain out of a molehill here, but I, I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page on well, exactly what the process is. Yeah. And I think that it's a good thing to bring up. So that way when people call and we said, Hey, we're about three weeks out right now. It's yeah. because of this It's because of the weather delay. Well, that's, that's the thing. So too. yeah. So right now it's probably gonna be a little bit more than three weeks because we have three weeks worth of delays to, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but yeah. wood's still about three and a half. Okay. It's three and a half. Okay. Maybe four. Um, well, when I was kind of looking at it, depending on the weather, of course. Right. Weather. Yeah. That's, that's, is, that's if so long as Candace remembers her lesson here and doesn't yeah. call for more snow later on. Right. So as long as, as long yeah. as we can keep this and according to Walt, Kenny too. Yeah. yeah. And we're also wondering if Walt didn't play a part in this because again, for every finger you point, you got three back at three you. Back you. Maybe Walt's involved in the snow business too. I I think you need to get yeah. to the bottom of this in Nashville. We will. Okay. Oh, oh, there will be questioning involved in Nashville. Yeah. As to who knew what when. Yeah. That's the big thing. I watch I watch detective shows on TV. Yeah. I know how this goes. You want, do you want to bring the light? Oh, the yeah. spotlight. Yes. Yeah, shine it down on them. What do you know? And when did you know it? Yeah. I like it. I like it. Watch wait, wait, wait. They're watching though. So, oh, yeah. No, no. no. Yeah. We'll just see you guys in Nashville. See you here. Yeah. 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 I'll Keep see scrolling. you. Yeah. Keep some time available because I'd like to catch up with you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. All right. You know what? All right. This is good news because now I know two Rebus. There you go. There you go. It. Love it. All right. Yeah. Very well, good. Regardless, Reba, we're happy you're here. Yeah. Thank you for joining yeah. us, Reba. We'll pass that along Thank to you for joining us. Our guys are actually going to be in Mount Vernon shortly. Really? So we're delivering oh, yeah. some uh, temporary panels to one of the churches out there. Very cool. As soon as they get a phone call back. So we got to get a phone call back. But Love it. You yeah. could see an orange truck in Mount Vernon yeah. today. Yep. Or Monday, depending on when we get a call back. Yeah. Yeah. Could you happen. Know, you know what my favorite thing is about the orange trucks? Yep. Is that I never really know at any given point when someone waves at me. And it's never like, <laughs> it's never like a just a... Hey, it's yeah. always like a, Hey, and I just, I do it back naturally. I'm yeah. like, hey, yeah, hey, how's it going? <laughs> you know? Cause I don't, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I don't no. have a single care. You're no. waving at me. You wave know? to anybody. Yeah. You wave, wave to me, at, you get a wave people. back. Yeah. 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 Which big waving people. We're going to circle back. Okay. To this. Okay. Other okay. Topic. okay. Okay. To waving. Um, but I never know who it is. And sometimes yeah. I get a text, you know, like, and I check it after I'm driving. Course. Yep, of course, of as course. as one who safely drives does. Yes. Yep. Okay. And sometimes it'll be like, where are you headed to? Or, hey, girly, that was me. Or, you know, something yeah. like that. And then every once in a while, I'll get back to the office and you'll have gotten a text. <laughs> or dad will have gotten a text. Or, you know what my favorite yeah. thing is, is when they start to wave, 
and then they realize it's not you. Yeah. And then they're like awkwardly committed. Like, and, they're, like, and then you get like the pity, like, oh, ha-ha. like, <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that aggressive wave. Hey. <laughs> and I'm always like, it, it's, and sometimes it's a commercial vehicle, right? Yeah. We're all, we all know everyone in the industry. And yeah, it's, that's my favorite thing. <laughs> well, okay. and, and to clarify this a little bit, Sarah is driving my old truck. Yep. So this is, it is very fair and valid for people to think that they're waving at me. Yes. And they're actually waving at you. Well, and same thing be, with my dad. My, yeah, same thing say, happens to my dad. He's driving one of my old trucks. confusing too. because yeah. he has kind of the the smaller version of your truck. Right. It's got the right. shell. It's got yeah. the same. Well, and I drove that truck before he drove it. Yeah. So, so no one really knows who the heck they're waving at. It's all musical trucks around our yeah. office anyway. But that's you right. know what? Right. I kind of wave at all the DeLong trucks. Yeah, that's right. I'm like, hey. hey There's a good chance J-Dub could be in there. Yeah. Or Rick. One of them. Yeah. So, I mean, there's other good guys in DeLong. Those are two guys that I know. Right off the top of my head. Yep. Mike's a good guy over there. Yep. So, yep. yeah. Any yep. of the DeLong people, you see a DeLong truck, you yeah. ought to wave at it. Wave at them. They're all you good people. You're Worst waving at, you are waving at a good person. Yeah. If you wave at a DeLong truck. Worst case scenario, like, they get confused, and that's kind of funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're just like, that's even, start doing that to That's people. even better. What if, what if you point and wave? Yeah. You. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Well, you can't do it too aggressively because then they might think you're trying to like flag them down. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, no, you have okay, to just be okay. like, you had to smile with it too. Hey. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like okay. you would if you saw, you know, your friend at the supermarket. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Yeah. Well, the friend you like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, otherwise, you're like. That friend you're like. Mm. Yeah. One of those. I mean, you like them, but, but they talk a lot. Those are probably like and, acquaintances. Yeah. People do that to me a lot. I've been known to talk. They'll do the, oh, geez. Did you see me? He did. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, Joe. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, look at that. I got to go. Wow, well, look I'm at on. that. Or they like get their phone out really quick. Oh, Hello. Yeah. Hello. What was that? Hello. Hello. Oh, it's, yeah. it's really good seeing you, Joe. I, uh, I got to take this real so quick. Gotta, yeah, phone's not even ringing. It's not even lit up. It's, it's not on right <laughs> Your now. Your phone is upside down. What? I can't even hear them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Funny. We're going to circle back around to waving. Oh, oh yes. wait. Do we have a comment? Oh, we do. Okay. All right. Comments come first around here. Yes. Big comments show. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I, uh, I remember... I had to haul some kayaks. I went on a gal's trip where we, we went floating down the river. And so I was hauling a bunch of stuff. And I get a text from Taylor randomly. Because that Sunday back, or Sunday on the way back, we stopped to talk about on Mount Vernon. And um, yeah, she's like, are you in Mount Vernon? Like, where is she? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And she's like, oh, my friend so-and-so just saw the truck and thought it was us. And I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> I'm just going to start waving to everyone in Mount Vernon. Yep. Well, you ought sure. to. Talk yeah. about a town full of good people. Yeah. Again, it's just like the long trucks. If you're waving at them, you know they're good people. Yeah. You wave at somebody in Mount Vernon, you're waving at somebody Especially good. Especially if it could be my new friend, Reba. Never know. Never know. Could. I'm going to wave. I'm going to wave at every single person. Reba, you let me know eventually yeah. when you see me wave. You see her wave at you. You let yeah, us you know. Because then it's kind of like a bingo. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a game now. Yeah. Big fan. And, and we know if our trucks ever get stolen... Yep. Taylor has a network of oh, informants yeah. out Better there. Better not go to Mount Vernon. The bird call Ooh. goes out. Check out for, look out for an Ozark fence truck. Yeah. And you let me know. Yep. 20 minutes or less. Guaranteed. Unless you're planning on stealing a truck of ours. And then, you know what? Just go ahead and go to Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon's a great oh, place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Down you down you should take it directly there. Yeah. Directly yeah, there. Great Taco Bell there. Good place to hide. Yeah. Go to the Taco Bell. Or Mazios. Mazios is oh. good, too. It's my place. Oof. I'm in on the yeah. Mazios. Big fan. Uh, that's actually the physically the closest. Well, not physically. So drive time. Mm -hmm. It's the closest Mazios to Springfield. Where's there another Mazios? And Branson. Really? I think. And I used to say, I used to oh. say Mount Vernon was the closest, but the one in Branson, it's like silly, so sort of fractionally closer, but it takes longer to get there. So sure. eh. okay. drive time closest Mazios to Springfield is Mount Vernon. Yeah. No. I love. That's why when I met when I met Taylor and I said, "Where are you from?" She's like, "Mount Vernon." Like. <laughs> All right, this is going places because yeah, yeah. I like going there for Mazios. First date Mazios. <laughs> yeah. Sure. See you there. <laughs> All right. I'm out burning. Yep. <laughs> well, if they knew you, Taylor, well, they'd know that you're not driving anything orange. She probably won't do it. Probably they see the blonde hair, though. Oh, yeah. And yeah. My, my truck's pretty That's tinted, fair. You know? That's fair. And yep. so they're like, is Taylor still driving Joe's truck? What's she what doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? I tried yeah. telling her that we were going to wrap her vehicle. Oh, how'd that go? Um,. That was an aggressive no. Oh, yeah. It's a hard pass. Hard no. Okay. With supporting no's. Like, oh. there was not only one no, there was successive no's. Oh. And each with its own reason. 
Okay. So, oh, so she had like bullet points it, of why it, it was not. To be and it was weird. Yeah, she almost had like a whole presentation. Yeah, she had like a PowerPoint. Right? Yeah, and I was like, hey, what do you think if we wrapped it? She's like, well, sit down because I've got a presentation yeah. for you. I'm like, how long have you been All thinking about this? All of a sudden, it's on this? the TV and she's got like a little clicker. <laughs> she's like, have a seat there and I'd like to talk to you about it. Starting with exhibit A. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like it. That's a good possibility. Good chance. Yeah. Good chance it's me. Yep. We've got a pretty good supersonic breakfast burrito. Yeah. That you can ask with no jalapenos on it. Oh. Pretty delicious. Okay. And a Route 44 water. Yep. I'm going to guess if you ordered a supersonic breakfast burrito with no jalapenos and a Route 44 water, your total would be around $4.93. Just around. Purely guessing here. Purely guessing. Purely guessing. Speculative. That's right. Okay. Choice. Oh. Oh. Would you like to go first? Route 44 water. That's, That's where you're going to get Sonic? Yeah. There's so That's many my Sonic flavors. order. Uh, I'll just stick with water. I mean, that's good. Yeah. Proud yeah. of you. No. no, no. Yeah. If, um, I, if I weren't, I'll tell you what I yeah. what I used to drink there if before I kicked just over to water. Out of water. Yeah. If they're, out, if they're like, hey, massive Not water ice. shortage. But yeah, we got ice. We, we got, got everything ice. else. We got ice for days. But... Um, an ocean water flurry. Are you familiar familiar Ooh, with the flurries? I've heard of slushy. Yep. So okay. you you get the slushy ice. Okay. Okay. With ice cream. So it's a milkshake with slushy ice. Huh. It's a flurry. Flurry. Yep. And ocean like water that. is coconut with Sprite. Yes. Very good. And something blue. They put blue in it. Well, that's the the ocean water. It or or like uh, a, the coconut. It's blue. Ocean water is blue, blue coconut, coconut with oh, okay. Sprite. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, there's something blue happening. There. Yep. Yep. It is very good. <laughs> Did I say ocean water is ocean water with Sprite? Is that what I said? No, you, said, gonna... you said coconut. I did. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think so. <laughs> blue coconut with Sprite is ocean okay. water. So I'm going to go cranberry limeade for mine. Cranberry limeade. Yep. Very good. The limeades are delicious. They're very good. So, I with strawberry. Yeah. Strawberries are good with cherry. Cherry limeade. I don't, I don't like cherry flavored things. Oh, that's fair. I like cherries. That's fair. But cherry flavored thing. It's kind of like watermelon. Yeah. Watermelon flavor doesn't the, really the, taste like watermelon. Yeah, the flavor is not the same. No. Yeah. So the manufactured flavor. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. And so one day I was like, man, I like cranberries. Drink. I like limeades. Drink. Let's put them together. Boom. So Life Candace, why don't you let us know what your favorite yes, Sonic drink? Sure. If you guys are watching, weigh in on this. Let us know what yep. your favorite, favorite Sonic, Sonic drink is. We've yeah. got about five minutes left. Yeah. So big Sonic review. That's right. That's right. Big Sonic, Sonic review yeah. show. Yeah. All right, so and I'm glad you guys are helping us fill content up here because usually we talk about fence and fence related stuff for like at least five or six minutes yeah. of the show. And this has actually been really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not a lot to talk about fence though right now, just because no. we're not building much fence. Not a lot. But, but we do have the lawn and garden show coming up. Yes. It'll be next weekend. We actually built, we pre-built the display today. So mm -hmm. again, schools are closed because of roads. Our trucks aren't driving. So guys are in the shop. Okay. And. Uh, yep. So they pre-built all the display panels for next week. They're ready to go. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see oh, cool. uh, a, a variety of wood fence. we got four foot shadow box, four foot solid, six foot shadow box. Well, yeah, six foot shadow box and then two six foot solid privacy fences. Oh. And we will see walnut and pecan stain. Love it. We have some pre-stained boards. Cool. So actually, we're not sure. We're pretty sure they're pecan. They're either pecan or they're really wet chestnut. Okay. Which yeah. those two are kind of alike. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Do we do any ornamental or no? Yeah, actually, yeah. So we do have an ornamental. We have a four foot tall, three rail flat top ornamental. Perfect. Yeah. So that's awesome. Okay, believe good. it's uh, believe it's the montage. So the montage majestic. Very cool. Very yep. cool. That's been pretty popular this year. That's right. That's right. So that's right. Awesome. Let's see. Oh. Is some, are All we right. weighing in? My new friend Reba. Reba sweet says sweet tea, tea at, and it. sometimes limeade. Yeah. Well, how could we forget about the sweet tea? I like We're, their sweet tea. They've got a good Sonic there in Mount Vernon too. Yeah. That's true. I've actually been to that one. That's right, that's right. And what's really cool about their teas is you can add whatever flavor you want to. So sometimes oh. I do a little peach tea, peach sweet tea. Really? Yeah. So now, can, okay. it's important to clarify that you want the flavoring added to unsweet tea. Because then it can get too sweet if you do uh, sweet tea with the sweet with peach flavor. With the yeah. sweet flavor. Too much. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And I think a lot of people know. know that. Yeah. They know that. They prepare for this. Sure. They, um, they, just, they are not new to the right. flavored tea. Pea. No, no, no. The flavored tea game. That's yes. what I meant. Yep. Yeah. So you can do peach. You can. I mean, you can really do anything. One time I tried strawberry, but it just it didn't turn out right. But you don't know until you try. That, that does sound kind of. It should sound good. Yeah. In theory, good, yeah. it should be good, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But. All right. 
We do like sweet tea. Very good. Well, guys, we're going to start wrapping up. we got about two minutes left, and usually it's like a 30-second delay from when we say it to when you see it and type yep. it in. So we're giving you guys a little bit of fair warning. Absolutely. We're going to wrap this up in uh, two minutes. So yeah. we do this from noon to 1, Central Standard Time, every Friday. So now are we coming up yet on the revote on Friday or not? Oh, no. Okay. It's, we have, it, we're writing it out for a while. Review. That's right. Quarterly review. Yeah. yeah. So it used to be Ask a Fence Gal Friday, mm -hmm. but then but then it got brought up. It yeah. should be Friday. Yes. So we voted. Yeah. And when I say we voted, you voted. Yeah. The viewers. And they voted Friday. Well, most of them voted Friday. Some voted Friday. And then there were some write in answers. Out of control. Friday, Friday. Oh, or Friday, yay. Friday, yay. That yeah. was one. So next time we're voting, it will be an A or B vote. Yes. Friday or Friday. Yeah. No write in candidates, please. No. Try. No. Try. Or should we do like two new ones every quarter? Oh, like, okay. Ask if Ben Scow, yay, it's Friday, you know? Or like, Yay is for yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we, we still incorporate the yay, you know, but we we just we're gonna think about this. You know what? Send us your, right. your ideas. That's right. Send, Send us the ideas. ideas. We'll look them over and we'll pick the top two. So the the vote will be Friday, uh -huh. Friday, and then a third new option, or just no. Friday and then a new option. I think. Yeah. I think there needs to be three options. Yes, yeah, so always, always. Well, but do we always want it? Because then at the Ask a Fence Girl Friday, yeah, just all year round. Is that fun? I don't know. Does it always need to be two new it options? Needs to rotate. Well, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Let's think about this. Yep, let's hear it. You only if the current selection can mm -hmm. only be for two quarters. It can only be available as an option. Okay. So yeah. they voted Friday. So first quarter done. Yeah. Next time, next vote, yeah. they can vote Friday again and sure. get two quarters. Yep. But at the end of that quarter, not an option. Yeah, it has to be It's changed. either Friday or a new one. Yeah. Or do we even offer Friday? Um, well, I, I think we need to because it hasn't gone for two quarters. That's true. So it can come back. It can come back. It, so also, mm -hmm. if Friday only lasts one quarter, yeah. it could be brought it back too. Back too. But I don't think it should ever like always just be those two. Like I think we have to. Bring there needs to be a new. Talent. There needs to be a new option. Yeah. Because I mean that, you guys could decide you want this called something else. That's I mean it, it'll always be ask a fence gal. Yeah. But then what's yeah. the last word? Yeah. Friday, 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 yay, yay. Friday, a a a. Yeah. I don't know. Yay, fry. So fry, yay, yay, I mean, fry. I get excited for fries, yeah. so I can. Yeah, I'm. Love fries. I like fries too much. Oh, all right. We got some more votes coming in. We're not taking votes. Well, for what? Oh, your oh, oh, oh. Sonic drinks. cherry lime. Okay. Okay. So anywhere is unsweet tea. Two from McDonald's with light ice will cost you two dollars and sixteen cents. Yeah. There you go. There okay. you go. Love it. Very good to know. Oh. <laughs> Macy looks a lot like Sarah. That's yeah. probably true. That's yeah. probably true. Yep. It does. It's funny whenever we go like places together, it is it's hard to know like who's who, like from the back, especially when she's got her bun going too. And yeah. It's, What's it's funny awesome. is I don't know what it is, but Macy, like if it's me and Macy, people are like, Oh, she looks just like you. If yeah. it's Macy and Taylor, she looks just like Taylor. Yeah. If it's Macy and you, she looks just like you. Like I don't know what it is, but yeah, you put her with anybody and she looks like them. Yeah, she's like a chameleon. Is she a shapeshifter? Guys, we went all show and didn't talk about aliens. And I had mm -hmm. some I had some things to talk about. <laughs> I've been watching Joe Rogan. Oh no. And both. Joe Rogan's got some got some thoughts here. Yeah. He does. And all I'm gonna say, all mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hear it. I'm not this isn't all I'm gonna say, but the government has acknowledged mm -hmm. that they are making it a priority to understand UFOs. And they're not UFOs anymore. What are what are they? They are Unknown aerial vehicles or something like that. UA. Okay. No, it's not UAVs. It's something else. We'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. Okay. But they're calling them something different. Yeah. So, and the reason, according to Joe, and I okay. think he's onto something, but the reason they changed the name, so you can you can submit sunshine law requests. Sure. But you have to tell them exactly what you want. So if you say you want all documents with UFOs, they're like, 
Hmm? Sure. Don't have any. Nothing with UFO around here. Yeah. And you're like, what about these unknown aerial vehicles? Like, whatever they're like, oh, there you go. Yeah. There, that's, so we got to figure out what they're calling them. But okay. maybe they're having quarterly boats. On what changing. it should be called? Yeah. It's true. Wow. So there was, I don't want to get it. We'll be here all day. But there's like some legitimate stuff out there. Yeah. Like there's a, a, na a naval, what was he? He's a naval officer. And um, he like has it on video, yeah, on his uh, thermal imaging. Yeah. This unknown object. Oh. And it like flies like 270 miles an hour and then turns real quick and goes 100 miles an hour the other way. And he's like, there's no way, like like there is not technology that. that you can stop. You can go from 200 miles an hour to zero, change, and then go to 100 miles an hour the other way. Huh. Think of how quick you'd get places. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I would love that. And Joe, Joe has a good point. He said, how conceited is it to think that we're the only beings in the whole universe That's that are what like I us? Said. I told TJ Bit that. Conceited. I'm like, well, how naive. Like, right. really? Like. We exist. So it's just so silly to think that something else doesn't exist. Oh, right. Could be an so. alien moon base, subterranean. Was it wait, was oh. it the moon or Mars? Mars was one that they were trying to like figure out. Yeah. So one of these planets has a subterranean alien base. Oh, I have I heard about I have this. Heard I that. have heard speculation on this. Hmm. But Elon's getting to the bottom of it. Oh. Elon Musk is gonna figure this out. Him and SpaceX figuring it out. I'm just gonna let them do it. I tell you I'll what, if, he, if anybody's gonna do it, it's gonna be him. Yeah. That guy, because he's doing satellite stuff. Isn't he? Genius, yeah. So he's got Starlink, which is uh, it's offered by SpaceX, which actually we we're on a waiting list for. But yeah, mm -hmm. so it's satellite internet with super low ping and latency. Uh, that once the satellite once the satellite constellation is built up more, it can be up to a gig, oh. and it you can get it anywhere you have a view. So right now, it's anywhere you have a view of the northern sky. So okay. it's the, they're starting the satellite constellations north and then coming south. south. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you have view of the northern sky. So right now, I think they're in Michigan. Like so, South Michigan is the first further the south, south that they've okay. been. Cool. Uh, but so, but they're saying mid twenty twenty one is when they'll be to Missouri to our latitude. So I can't. I, I'm pretty excited for that. That's the thing is like you listen to you listen to Elon Musk talk, and it's this guy is just genius so so yep. they're working on a neurotransmitter mm -hmm. to where they take out a one inch diameter piece of your skull and implant this neurotransmitter uh with a machine with a robot that they're creating mm -hmm. uh, and it can like it can cure all sorts of neurological diseases because his point is like well the brain is all just electrical impulses that's all it is it is if you're happy that's an that's an electrical pulse if you're sad that's an electrical pulse so, mm -hmm. or if, if blindness it, now is obviously like as long as your optic nerve is still intact, sure. but you know, there's some blindness that is brain related. It's just sure. not picking up that electrical signal. Yeah. This thing. Can. Yeah. It's crazy stuff. So, That's and awesome. it's like, I don't understand how this guy does it. Cause he's got, you know, Tesla, which is doing phenomenal mm -hmm. SpaceX, which is making huge strides. Um, the neurotransmitter. And then he's got um, the boring company, which is where they do huge underground tunnels. So they want to bore yeah. underground transportation tunnels underneath LA to try to solve for Some the transportation them. issue. Yeah. In theory, seems like a good idea. I mean, there he's he's got a bunch of test tunnels already done where you can so you pull your car up onto a transporter, uh -huh. and then the transporter takes it through this tunnel, okay. goes up, goes down, spits you out at the other end. Okay, I was and it can say, go up to happen. like I think up to three hundred miles an hour. So once your car's like buckled in or whatever, yeah. um, so it can transport you super fast. It can there's not never travel delays because it's all autonomous. Yeah. So, huh. guys, onto something. Okay. I'm gonna cool. stick to building a fence because yeah. uh, that guy's got his stuff figured out. I'm also guessing he does not sleep eight hours a night. Uh, probably not. So he works sixteen hours a day. He works six five or four sixteen hour days a week. Or no, no, okay. no. Six. So he takes one day off. Six, 16 hour days per week. Okay. He takes one day for rest. Oof. Guys, guys, uh, there's so now there's like, those people are like, does he have his own like neurotransmitter? 
Like, did he, was he the first one, yeah. and now he's like operating on a whole different level? Yeah. So what he's what he was talking about is so here's the th- here's the problem with Elon is he says things that make sense to him, but other people hear it and they're like, "What did he just say?" No. So he was like, think of your brain like an operating system. And what we can do is we can take you from Windows 95 to Windows 10 with the flick of a switch. Yeah. You can comprehend more data quick, quicker. You can, you know, and so it solves for memory loss. Okay. And so what did you eat the first Friday when you were 10? This thing, you'd be like, well, you know what? I had pizza and I wanted it with pepperoni, but mom only gave me cheese. Yeah. He says it will be photographic memory. Now, there's some debate on it. It would be photographic memory starting when the transmitter was installed. So you, you can't like go back yeah, and get old memories. Could, yeah. Um, yeah. But oh. one thing it solves for as well is Alzheimer's, which is kind of it's a yeah. discussion we have in our family. Right. Um, just because it's kind of prevalent in our family. Yeah. So, but it solves for Alzheimer's because if it starts picking up the crystallization, then it, I don't know if it sends pulse or what, but. It restores it back. Hmm. Crazy That's stuff. That's pretty cool. Yep. I like that. And here we are building fence. Here we <laughs> like are. Elon's solving yeah. world issues here. Well, we don't so, have to solve it if he's on it. That's yeah. the thing. In his so the way he the prism where he looks through things is what major world issue does this solve? Yeah. The the Starlink solves no access to free information in third world countries. Mm-hmm. So you know, if you're living in China, if you're living in, you know, North Korea, well, North Korea, good chance of getting one of these in there. But yeah. if you had access to one, now all of a sudden the government can't control what you do and don't see. Okay. It's, it's uploaded through the satellite. So you're not going through traditional infrastructure where they can put on firewalls and, and all that. Now you're going directly to the Internet source. Yeah. So, you know, it's hmm. the prism which he looks th- looks at things through is just un- unreal. Awesome. But really cool. and Andy has said that he wants to pass away on Mars. So so yeah. SpaceX mission is to get to Mars and have a livable ecosystem there, you know, in the next thirty years. Because huh. he and he said, what did he say? He said he's not. He won't be one of the first people to go. He's like, I'm gonna wait for there to be. What did he say? He's like Starbucks and Pizza Hut before he goes up. <laughs> but up. Uh, okay, yeah. But they're gonna have they're gonna have commercial space flight by 2023 is his is his mission now, i was watching a joe rogan interview last night mm-hmm. with his director of spacex that's what he said he's like we've got a directive that we will be having commercial space flight by 2023 now commercial space flight he said their biggest customer and the one that will always take priority is nasa well sure so nasa has contracts with uh spacex and boeing yeah to have manned mission manned space mission man- manned space missions yeah. uh, ma- mainly to get the astronauts and scientists up to the space center yeah. so right now we're relying on the russians to take us up and bring us back and he's like eh, be a good idea if we did it ourselves actually he said because right. the russians are dealing with hardware that we decommissioned yeah. you know, it's the same technology that we de- decommissioned because it has a margin of error that is too right. great for our comfort right. level yep. i mean you saw that in like challenger and that sort of thing yeah so he said but they're still doing it and they don't share their maintenance records and they don't share any of that other said all that state secret. So you know, like we gotta that. beg them for rides up there and we gotta hope it gets there and comes back. So yep. yeah, anyway. it'd be nice to be in the other seat. A little bit independent. Yeah. A little bit independent. Yeah. For sure. And <laughs> like how exciting would it be if if you could do if you could pay money and jump on a spaceship and just like do an orbit, a few orbits and come back? I think that would be amazing. Like to, to experience like complete weightlessness, yeah, go zero G. Here. Like you can, no, you, like you can't, chambers. you can't get to zero G. So yeah, you can do this, the weightless chambers or the, mm-hmm. they've got a, uh, what they call it? Um, dreamliner. I think Boeing's got what they like call a dreamliner say, where it'll, it'll do the, like it'll train. do the free fall. Well, so astronauts train under the water because it's close to zero G. Yeah. And it's close to what, but you can, you can't get to zero G until you get to space. Is what this guy was saying. Yeah. Weird. So, but yeah, they train in pools. He said, he said, you will never train for anything like opening the hatch and just seeing Earth go by. So, yeah, that's ooh, that'd be crazy. Yeah, it'd be pretty nuts. Yeah, I think I'm I'm too much of a control freak for that. I'm good, good. I think I'll stick to like 
Hawaiian vacation. Right, 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 right. Maybe go to Australia if I'm getting a little crazy. Yeah. You know, but I like going to Mexico. Yeah. We I went like, uh we went to I'm Cabo San Lucas on for a radio trip and I yeah. I like Cabo a lot. So we might we've we've been talking about that honeymoon wise. Like where are we gonna go? Oh, where are we gonna go? Well <laughs> we want to go to Scotland. But yeah. because everything like by October I doubt anything's gonna be like super open. Yeah. Um, or at least open all the way. And it's like, is it worth spending that money and going there if you still can't get into castles and like sure. get to see all the sure. really cool cultural things that are Scotland? Yeah. Um, so we're we're taking other options at this point. Yeah. Well, a friend of mine just got back from Cabo. Um, yeah. he went he wasn't with us from the trip we went to, but anyway, he went to Cabo and said all all you have to have right now is a negative COVID test. I think within forty eight hours of travel or something. So you okay. just have to schedule it before you leave there, the medical facility, get it, get a negative negative test within 24 hours of your travel and you get back in cool that's what they say yeah i mean he said down he said down there pretty much everything's open okay so that's cool yeah, yeah. good to know all right we got one last, last comment, comment here oh there we go i like that one candace i will remind you what we have talked about here it is cxo client experience officer because we are a younger generation oh. and we spell things that aren't that aren't really that spelled that way. Mm -hmm. Like the it's a big millennial thing. Mm -hmm. Experience is an X. C X O. But certain. Yeah, but when you say it. You didn't win too many spelling bees, did you? X experience. You don't say you don't say X experience. I was experience says x third grade spelling bee champion well listen i'm not going to talk about my spelling accomplishments because i don't want to make anyone here feel bad um <gasps> so we're not even going to get into that i'm just saying when you say the word experience mm -hmm. x right but it's kind of like xylophone it doesn't sound like x it's the e that makes I'm, the x sound i'm not responsible for the spelling of xylophone i mean i didn't do like, that Xenix, like it's it sounds more like a Z than an actual like, like the whole X. Yeah, and listen, if you were the client Xerox officer, I would call <laughs> you the CZO. I mean, that client, if you were the client xylophone officer, I'd call you CZO. Can we get a xylophone? I'm sure there's one on Amazon. Yeah, then I could be both. <laughs> client xylophone officer. There you go. All right. There you have it. And then we can no longer call you the CEO. So I'm on board <laughs> with that. So in order, this girl is xylophone. That's right. Well, guys, appreciate you sticking awesome. around. A little bit of ridiculousness as we get into here. But I uh, appreciate you guys to show up each and every week and help us make this, you know, make this a great time. Make it go super fast by interacting with us and dropping comments below. If you're watching the recorded version of this, still drop a comment below. We watch yeah. the comments throughout the week. And then if there's questions that come through, we bring them up the next week. So, sure And just for those of you that didn't hear the announcement in the beginning, we won't be doing Ask a Finscal Fry Yay next week yep. uh, because Sarah will be live and in person at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds yeah. for the Lawn and Garden Show. So yeah. you can do a live meet and greet there. But it's there unofficial go. because I won't be there. So okay. don't show up thinking I'm going to be there. It's just Sarah. So. What a shame. Yeah, you know, Super sad. can't win them all, I say. <laughs> Guys, thanks again. Appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, comments, or otherwise, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Absolutely. I'm Joe. I'm Sarah. And this was Ask a Fence Gal Friday. Okay. All right. You guys have a good weekend.